So last week we told you about a nationwide warning about a supplement experts say could be considered gas station heroin. 17th Leah Fitzgerald reports how this could affect Kern County. That's right, no, it, though it doesn't contain any actual heroin, the effects from taking it could be similar. So much so that people have overdosed and have even died. Tia Neptine is the latest supplement lawmakers are catching on to. It could be marketed under several aliases, including Neptune's Fix, Tiana, and Zaza. The supplement is used as an antidepressant in Europe. However, it is not approved for that in the U.S. due to its opioid-like risks. Experts are titling it gas station heroin, and it's sold right here in Kern County. Some states like Alabama and Tennessee have banned tianeptine. California, not one of them. How is it that we even get here? Yeah, so, you know, as, as a physician, um, as a family med doctor, as an addiction specialist, um, this is right up my alley with everything I've been working on. Um, when I first got sworn into the legislature, in fact, the reason why I decided to run for office was because America, California, really needs to get a handle on its growing drug prices. Sergeant Andrew Tipton states that unless there's a reason something is banned, they have to be careful of what they decide on pulling off of shelves. A great example of this is synthetic marijuana, otherwise known as spice, initially legal but intended to mimic THC, similar to tianeptine mimicking the effects of heroin. The problem with tianeptine is that in addition to being a tricyclic antidepressant, it also has a unique property that it binds to the opioid receptors. So it gives you the same feeling that you would get as taking an opioid like heroin, fentanyl or um, uh, narco or Percocet. Now experts say to speak with your children regarding this newest problem hitting the shelves. Similar to the saying one pill can kill when it comes to fentanyl, tianeptine's lethal doses are also incredibly low. KGET investigated around Kern County since the story aired last week. Upon going to over 25 gas stations and smoke shops, tianeptine was nowhere to be found. Perhaps the FDA has already gotten the upper hand here on a local level. Maddie and Alex, back over to you.